Hi, hello everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you are doing well. And it's time for our weekly track roundup where I give my thoughts, my feelings on a bunch of songs that have dropped over the past week or so. All of them are linked down below so you can check them out for yourself, along with a bunch of other stuff as well, like our Turntable Lab link. We have uh, basically an affiliate link with them. If you want to buy some vinyl or some turntable stuff, we get kickback from it. Uh, helps the channel and, and all that. That would be great. That'd be nice. Uh, we also have our Patreon page down there in case you want to get some extra bonus monthly content while supporting us in the process. That is an option as well. Uh, we have our Shorts channel from YouTube uh, down there too, where we are putting up a lot of short form content uh, that we are very pleased with. Check that out. And uh, finally, Finally, uh, Austin wants to push you guys to an interview that they recently did uh, with the husband-wife duo that is uh, pretty much behind the erstwhile and elsewhere uh, record labels. And uh, it's a very kind of long form uh, email based interview with a lot of great questions and, uh, you know, mentions of various releases uh, put out on labels. It's a very in depth, super, super, super uh, in depth. And, uh, you know, definitely something uh, for those who in the who in the audience are big fans of experimental music, anything super left field, anything super abstract underground, uh, you're going to want to check this uh, conversation, you're going to want to check this interview out. So all right, uh, worst tracks of the week. We have a handful of those. They are, ba bam, uh, this new one from Sleep Token. I've had so many people like pushing me new material from this upcoming Sleep Token record, freaking out about it, like it's God's gift to music. Um, this latest one, Granite, to me just sounds like a very uh, sanitary, overproduced, uh, melodramatic pop cut but then eventually like some metal guitars come in at one point that sound um, very, I don't know, almost, almost slightly uh, genty in a way that the, the timbre and tone of them is just very bland and, uh, you know, boring in my opinion. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of theater without much excitement or substance or, you know, unique or interesting textures uh, for that matter. Uh, to me, this is just, um, blandness, just very loud, melodramatic blandness. Uh, we have also this new one from uh, The Kid Leroy. It's uh, I Can't Go Back to the Way It Was. And um, I don't know, it kind of seems like a bit of an intro track for this uh, new album cycle and, um, you know, kind of making a dramatic to do over things being different now that obviously uh, he's achieved this massive amount of fame. Vocals are mid, song is mid, the lyrics are okay. It's just sort of uh, whatever and very drab like like a lot of uh, his material, in my opinion. Uh, we have also this uh, new one over here from Ed Sheeran, F64. He's he's dropping 64 bars. Like no no one asks Ed Sheeran to rap. Why 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 do we get it? Why do we do it? Why 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 societally are we accepting this? Uh, all right, let's move on. We have the tracks that uh, I was met on, but uh, you might enjoy them more than me. Uh, that's why I wanted to shout them out. They are as follows. We have a new one from Trippy Red, Future in the Mix on the song. And um, if I remember correctly, Little Baby is on as well. Fully Loaded is the name of the track. It's a very kind of lo-fi, messy trap banger. And um, I don't know, pretty standard for the genre at this point. Nothing really all that new or surprising or uh, interesting in my view. Uh, but it's there. It's, it's there doing its thing, New Mansion music album out now. Uh, we have also this new one from ASAP Rocky, which is a very kind of melodic and low-key one uh, from him. I do appreciate the kind of introspective angle of the track. I think ASAP's at a point where you know he's, he's due for some reflection given uh, the time and success uh, that's come his way since uh, the drop of his uh, breakthrough tape. But with that being said, uh, it's a very kind of repetitive and, and one-dimensional song sonically, and I think... Uh, you know, it really could have used some some changing up across its runtime. Uh, we have a new one from The National. This one is a pretty repetitive and mind numbing. Uh, while I think, uh, you know, at a baseline, it's not nearly as boring as some of their worst stuff. Uh, it really could have used some variation as well. Tropic Morning News is the name of the track. We also have a new one from Kim Petrus, which is a pretty okay pop cut. Uh, this one over here is Burr. Uh, we've got a new one from Colella, which I was pretty excited to try, but uh, at the end of the day, it just kind of sounds like a very uh, 
so so um, I guess like mall mall dressing room house cut uh, nothing really all that amazing in terms of production or vocal performance in my view uh, we have a new one from Fallout Boy which uh, yeah it's in the mess section but I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to the guitars on this one are kind of rocking and I'll say on the chorus there's almost like a, a hard rock vibe uh, going on you know like an 80s kind of hard rock vibe but uh, done in like the most tasteful way possible given that it is Fallout Boy um, I, I think the vocals are a little overdone which is usually a bit of a you know I, I guess a reservation for me with Fall Out Boy generally, but uh, I, I still think there's you know some good songwriting going on here. Uh, very tight and very um, uh, excited, uh, excited performance uh, going on on the track. It's uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, we have a new one from Deerhoof over here, which uh, you know to me sonically just feels very much like Deerhoof by the numbers from uh, the stop start, you know, grooves and transitions to the very zany, uh, guitar leads and melodies that kind of guide, uh, the song along its path. Sit down. Let me tell you a story is the name of the cut. It's okay. Uh, we have a new one from J Cole over here as well. It's a bit of a, uh, loose freestyle, I think to hold us over before we get another album cycle, which cool that that's going to be happening sooner rather than later. I'm assuming, uh, we have just a lot of, uh, you know, food for thought and D and J Cole kind of diving into, his personal mindset creative wise uh, at this point in his career like hey how is he going to keep in touch with that sense of hunger when creating and making music uh, if he's at this point of uh, so much success that he's no longer, you know, sort of like worrying about the kinds of things that he used to worry about uh, when he was originally making music, which is definitely a valid question. It's very interesting to sort of dive into as uh, kind of a thought piece from one of the most popular and successful rappers out there today. But is it like, you know, one of his best songs? Does it have the best production? Not necessarily. You know, I, I think it's a, a more interesting contextually uh, than it is sonically or just like from a songwriting standpoint. Uh, we have a a new track from uh, Bad Bad Not Good and Jonah Yano, who has a new uh, record coming out this uh, January. And, you know, Bad Bad Not Good is kind of backing up uh, the tracks. Uh, this track over here, The Ordinary is Ordinary Because It Ordinarily Repeats, is uh, not too bad of a piece of fusion. Not really, a, a, I guess, kind of blowing me away on the compositional side or anything like that. But uh, the boys sound tight. They do sound tight on this one. I will not deny that. Uh, we have a new one from... Um, uh, Arlo Parks over here, and it's not a bad piece of synth pop. It's a pretty decent piece of synth pop. Um, bit of a you know an aesthetic change from what I've heard on the last record, but um, you know not necessarily a, a blown me away, blown me away or anything like that. But if you love your uh, uh, indie branded uh, uh, synth stuff out there, you're probably going to want to hit this track up for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, moving on from there, and Weightless is the name of that cut. Obviously, uh, best tracks of the week. We have a handful of those. They are as follows. We've got a new one from Yeezy over here, which I think this is actually one of um, her most bubbly and instantaneously catchy cuts that I've heard so far. I'm actually kind of looking forward to a, a, maybe an album cycle that's a bit more uh, uh, upbeat or poppin'. Uh, For Granted is the name of the track. And uh, yeah, I love the vocals on it. Love the bubbly beat. And uh, I think it's got uh, quite a bit of flavor to it. Liking this one a lot. Uh, we have a new one from Super Chunk over here, which is very impassioned indie rock cut that I thought was uh, really good. Some of the, you know, best lyrics I've heard in the genre in a little bit. Uh, very pained, very passionate, as I said. Uh, liking this one a lot, liking it, liking it. Uh, we have a new one from uh, Sam Smith over here. It's kind of on the short side. And it's, uh, you know, more of like a gospel inspired vocal piece than it is a full song, but it is beautiful for the moment that it is on. I will say that Gloria is the name of the cut. Uh, we have over here a new one from Skrillex as well. It's a, uh, a very hard hitting and heavy piece of bass house. Bobby Raps is in the mix as well. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, really fun. It's, it's kind of short, wish it developed more, but uh, it's got some great grooves on it and uh, some good quality production as well. Uh, we have a new one from Jesus Peace over here. The metalcore fans over here take notice. The riffs are crazy. The performance is crazy. It's a great it's wild. It's over the top. It's out there a little bit in terms of its uh, uh, intensity, which I think is a, a bit animalistic. It's not your, you know, I, I guess typical uh, to a T machismo, you know, metalcore vibe. It's uh, got a bit of a, um, uh, I think, a, a almost like a mutant rage to it that I think is uh, pretty cool. Uh, one of my favorite projects that drops uh, singles out of the blue, out of nowhere every once in a while, is actually going to be coming out with an album this year, Model Actress. And uh, this one over here is a, one of my favorite singles they have put out 
thus far, uh, Crossing Guard. The vocals are insane and the dance grooves are wild. And I love how dark and uh, almost slightly industrial and kind of post-punky it all is. I think it's a, a maybe going to be one of my favorite records of the year if all the tracks are as much of a weirdo banger as this one. Uh, so yeah, check this one out. You're really going to love this one if, uh, you know, if you're into any of those genres at all. Uh, we have a new one from Mia. Follick over here as well, which is a, a very passionate uh, Indian singer-songwriter cut about kind of breaking things off in a relationship, kicking someone out of your house. Uh, it's very, uh, you know, angry. It's very uh, anthemic. I'm liking this one a lot. I think it's got a, a, a great energy to it. And uh, the songwriting is super solid as well. Uh, new Metallica track. I actually think is pretty good. The production's on point. Drumming's on point. Riff's on point. Solo on point. Uh, James Hetfield's vocals on point. Maybe it's a bit heavy handed with the, you know, suicide, uh, you know, bits, but, uh, you know, the chorus works as well. I think this one's a, a bit of a bop. Caliuchis has come through with a really good single, I Wish You Roses. Uh, some great synths on this track. It's very direct. It's very straightforward. Uh, seems like she's uh, trying to do something that uh, is, is maybe a bit more on the nose than some of the uh, uh, more easygoing and light uh, songs off of her last record, which I loved. Uh, don't mind something more direct from her, especially since it's still sounding very tasteful, very well put together. Uh, we have a new one from the Hers Collective. Uh, the music video attached to this is sort of like a shot for shot thing of um, the Beastie Boys video from what you want. Uh, but uh, I'm actually liking the very kind of uh, aggressive, wild, out of control, noisy, um, post hardcore direction that the uh, track is going in stylistically. I think it kicks ass. Uh, Trust the Process is the name of the song. And uh, Frank from MCR is uh, involved in the track as well, which is pretty interesting. Uh, we have also uh, Boy Genius has come back. The gang is back. They're coming out with a record this year, y'all. Rolling Stone cover. It's a big to do. $20 is the name of the song, and it's got almost like a garage rock, you know, like an uh, indie songwriter garage rock kind of tone to it. And I think it's, uh, I think it's great. The vocals come together really well, and uh, production is quality. It sounded really good. And uh, Full of Hell and Primitive Man come together for an absolutely disgusting, harsh, and noisy cut. What else would it be? Suffocating Hallucination. It sounds exactly like the fucking title. Uh, so don't miss this one if you're into anything uh, uh, super, uh, you know, enveloping and um, aggressive and uh, heavy. Uh, also digging the new Screaming Female single. Morris's vocals are sounding as fantastic as ever. The chorus is anthemic uh, as well. And uh, Brass Bell is the name of the cut. Uh, Algiers as well. Shout out to them. They have a new cut uh, with Samuel T. Herring and uh, James Matthews. And uh, yeah, you know, elements of like uh, soul and hip hop coming together on this cut really well. And it seems like uh, their next record is going to be very collaboration heavy. And I'm thinking it's uh, um, going to mean for a pretty, uh, you know, I guess a, a, a bit of a head scratcher as far as like a direction for the new record. But uh, the teaser so far have uh, uh, brought up some interesting material. So, you know, why not? I guess we'll see uh, what it is when we get there. All right, that has been the weekly track roundup. Everybody, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you've gotten some uh, good recommendations out of this video. You're the best, 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 best. Um, and I'll see you in the next video, next review, next whatever it is. All right, talk to you soon. Uh, forever. <laughs>